a shortage of sriracha hot sauce is back. The popular hot sauce, sriracha, it has been in a short supply for some time right now. Sriracha sauce is in hot demand tonight. Hoi Fung Foods has been a hot topic lately, and not just because of their iconic sriracha sauce. On April 19th, 2022, Hoi Fung issued a statement advising its vendors it was unable to produce its popular sriracha due to severe shortage of chili, the primary ingredient in their famous hot sauce. Since then, the price of sriracha sauce has surged up to 25 times the normal price. It's crazy. It's like 200 bucks? No way. Some bottles are even being sold for as much as $500 on eBay. And if you're hoping to find these iconic bottles at the grocery store as well, you might be out of luck. There's not a single bottle to be found. Despite blaming supply shortage on weather conditions, the real reasons behind the crisis become most interesting when you realize that Hoi Fong Sriracha is the only hot sauce missing from the shelves. Why? To understand this better, we need to go back in time. You see, in 1980, when David Tran started making sriracha at home and sold it out of this van, he never imagined it would make him a billionaire. Over the course of four decades, sriracha has gained a cult-like fan base all around the world and become the number one hot sauce in America, generating a staggering $150 million in revenue each year. They made all that money while never raising the price on the rooster sauce for 38 years. What's even more remarkable is that Hoi Fong has never spent a single dime on advertising, so how did they do it? The answer lies in the green cap of the sriracha bottle. Hoi Fong Foods chose the green color to represent the freshness of their chiles, which are made with fresh red jalapenos. In fact, Tron insisted on a two-hour window of delivery from farm to factory after the peppers were harvested. Once delivered to the factory, regardless of the number of trucks, the peppers have to be used within the same day to maintain their freshness. For 28 years, Hoi Fong sourced their peppers exclusively from Underwood Ranches, located in Ventura, California, just an hour away from their factory. That is until 2016, when the exclusive relationship came to an abrupt end over a bitter financial dispute. As a result, Hoi Fong began sourcing raw materials from multiple farms in Mexico. Fast forward to 2022, Central Mexico experienced a severe drought, which had a devastating impact on the availability of peppers particularly the red jalapenos. Hoi Fong felt the full force of this natural disaster and their production took a hit. But while climate change impacts agriculture as a whole, it's not the whole story. Other hot sauce companies like Tabasco, which uses red jalapenos from the United States and Latin America, are not experiencing the same shortages. They've managed to scale up production to meet a surge in demand. Similarly, Spicy Shark, who has contracts with small New England farmers, reported that they haven't seen problems there and are seeing a pretty stable inventory of all peppers. It seems like Hoi Fong is the only company still struggling to source their supply. Now you might be wondering, why can't Hoi Fong find their peppers from elsewhere? Well, it's not as simple as it seems. Hoi Fong requires a massive amount of peppers, approximately 100 million pounds annually. Picture truckloads of peppers being dumped every few moments during the harvest season just to meet this demand. Finding alternative sources that can provide such a large quantity is not an easy task for them. This leaves us with the question, will this be a continuous problem? The answer lies in whether or not Hoi Fong could establish a relationship with a stable source of growers. Stephanie Walker, a professor and extension vegetable specialist at New Mexico State University, emphasizes that the relationship between individual processors and their grower base is crucial. In the meantime, the next red jalapenos harvest is just around the corner in September, which marks the race against time for Hoi Fong Foods. As soon as they receive the shipment of these precious peppers, they must fulfill the back orders that have been piling up. But this process could create a rolling problem that might affect production for years to come. Will Hoi Fong Foods be able to overcome this challenge and continue to provide us with the beloved sriracha sauce? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Uh -huh.